world's biggest problem is economic inequality, which it is. That, you know, so the real question, the biggest question that faces the world is how can all the billions of people who live on, you know, a few dollars a day or less uh, begin to increase their standard of living? That's the basic question. We live in a very aberrational status in the world. You know, most Americans live in a way that the majority of the planet can't live. So, <coughs> since the planet knows we live this way, they're not going to tolerate forever everybody, you know, them being so much less well uh, provisioned than we are. And so, the question is, how do those people get wealthy fast? How do they get access to information and, and, and commerce and products and goods and services? Uh, and technology is the way. So the single biggest example of that is mobile technology, which is pervading the world at an astonishing pace. To this point now, about five million people, five billion, I'm sorry, people have cell phones, and over a billion, I believe, now have smartphones, or the number's getting close to a billion. And it's predicted that within about three years, the number with smartphones will exceed three billion, because basically smartphone prices are coming down, and uh, desire to have sophisticated phones is going up at a really rapid rate. So there are many parts of the world where they've never had wired phones, and they have, they have a phone that not only is a phone, but it has Facebook on it, uh, and it has Google on it, and it has the ability to do elementary commerce, which they sometimes do using SMS, in a country like Indonesia, for example, where there's something like 60 million people who use Facebook alone, which is another empowering technology, uh, they mostly use Facebook on their mobile device, which is typically a black <coughs> Blackberry in Indonesia. And um, they also typically do commerce. Like a small farmer will use Facebook over his Blackberry to sell his produce to somebody in the next village. So wow. that helps them raise their income and connects them to the rest of the world and gives them access to all kinds of capabilities that we're only beginning to see. So, I mean, without technology, there's basically no hope for the planet. And, and frankly, I think that the economic disparities that the world faces are so gigantic that you can't be certain that the planet will survive and, and thrive going forward. But I think, on balance, it's possible to be optimistic because of how rapidly technology is empowering people who have historically had no access and no power. And the pace at which that change is happening is astonishing.